Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this last episode, we are going to finish the shop system in Unity. We are going to add the buy button and it's going to be updated depending on the selected car. For now, I can buy both of these because I have enough coins. For example, if I buy this one, we have eight coins. And now I can't buy this one because there is no enough uh, coins, of course. So we can play with this one and it's going to be updated in this scene. So if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos. And let's jump right into it. So this is what we left off from the previous video. We can select different cards using these buttons. For example, I can select this one. And if I hit the start button, you see that it's updated inside the level scene as well. So in this video, we'll be able to buy a car. For example, we can make this one with a price and you will not be able to use it unless you buy it with the coins that we have here. And to do that, first I want to mention that a car is not just a 3D model. Basically, like in real life, we, a car has few settings and attributes like the speed, the color and the price as well. And in coding, there is an approach called object oriented programming. We can create a base class Actually, it's another type. You can create a custom type. And in that type, you can define the different settings for each car. So I'm going to create a class, which we will call a car blueprint. And then we're going to use it to make things easier because you can use the uh, normal uh, variables like an int and a float and so on. But that's going to be a little bit difficult. And for that, we need to create a custom class so under the scripts folder, basically it's a normal script. Let's create it using right click create C sharp script. I'm going to call it car blueprint. Then let's go ahead and open it up. And because this is a custom class, I'm going to get rid of the start and update method. And also we need to remove this mono behavior. And let's go ahead and get rid of all of these. And down here, we can set the attributes. So each car has a name. So I'm going to declare a string. And we need to make it public so that we can adjust its value. And it's going to be a string. And let's call it name. Also, we need an index. So each car has an index using public int and then index. Also, we need uh, the price of the car. So let's use public int price. And finally, there is another attribute which is very important to check if the car is unlocked or not. So I'm going to add public uh, bool, which is a boolean. I'm going to call it is unlocked to check whether the car is unlocked or not. And now we can use this uh, new class as a new type. But before that, you need to add in these brackets system dot serializable. If you don't add this line of code, you will not be able to use this uh, type, which we've called car blueprint. Now let's save that. And under this shop manager, let's declare an array of um, car blueprints using public. Then the name of the class, this is the type actually. So let's write car blueprint. And let's call it cars or uh, car blueprints uh, or whatever. Now, if we save this, but before that, we need an array of cars. So I'm going to add these brackets. And if we save this, and if I select the cars holder under this shop manager, we have an array down here. Let's set the size. We have three cars. And for each element, we can set the attributes like the name, the index, the price, and the uh, boolean is unlocked. So for this uh, one, we're going to use the player prefs. So this is the most important uh, attribute to check whether the car is unlocked or not. But for the other attributes, we can set them manually. For example, the first one, I'm going to call it red car. And for the index, it's zero. The price is zero as well. So this is a free car. And the second one, I'm going to call it taxi. The index is one. And let's give it a price, maybe 30. And finally, the police car, I'm going to call it police. Its index is 2, of course. 
and the price let's give it uh, 70 or 60 and now we are going to use this array to manage our shop system but before that we need to set the boolean is unlocked and that's going to be set inside the start method so down here we need to loop through all of the uh, elements inside this cars array using for each car blueprint I'm gonna call it car in the cars array so for each element we are going to set the boolean is unlocked we will use the player prefs to get that value but first we need to check if it's actually free so the boolean is unlocked is always true if the price is zero so I'm gonna check if car dot price equals zero in that case I'm gonna use a car dot is unlocked equals true otherwise so else we need to get the boolean that we are going to create or the player prefs will create it if it doesn't exist using a car dot is unlocked equals player prefs dot get int so here we didn't have the option boolean so we'll use an int 0 is uh, false and 1 is true for the key I'm going to use the name of the car using car dot name and for the value we need to give it the default one so all of the cars are by default locked so is unlocked is false so I'm gonna give it the value 0 so we have an error that's because is unlocked is a boolean but here we are returning an int and to do that we need to convert this one I'm going to use the uh, simpler version of an if statement if this value equals 0 then question mark so if this is true we are going to give it the value of uh, false of course then colon if it is false we are going to give it the value true so if this uh, value equals 1 is a locked one then we need to return the value true you could use the if statement but I think this one is the better option so let's save this and if we hit this play button you will see that for the first car is a locked is true and for the other ones will be false so let's go ahead and hit this play button and yeah it's actually the case the first one is free that's why is a locked is true by default and for the other ones we've set them to false by default now I'm going to create a buy button and then depending on this boolean of course of the current selected car we're going to check if it's true then we are going to disable the buy button we don't need to buy the car otherwise we are going to enable it and so on so let's go ahead and create a new button for me I'm going to duplicate this one using ctrl D and I'm gonna call it buy button and then I'm gonna change its position let's put it over here and I'm gonna change the Y position to 20 and let's go ahead and change the text basically we're going to change the text to buy then dash and then the uh, price of the car we're going to set this automatically depending on the current selected car we have the attribute uh, price but before that let's go ahead and change the uh, size I'm gonna make it larger and also I want to change the text to a black color and the background to a yellow color and now let's go back to the script we need a reference to that button over here using public we could use a game object but I'm gonna use it as a button but before that we need to use the namespace using unity engine dot ui and let's declare a button and let's call it buy button and then I'm going to create a separate uh, function I'm gonna call it update UI to check whether the current selected character is unlocked or locked then update this button accordingly so let's go down here and I'm gonna use public void you can make it private of course I'm gonna make it private for now void and let's call it update UI 
and in here we are going to get the current selected car using this current car index so let's go down here the type is a car blueprint I'm gonna call it C equals cars at the index current car index and then we are going to check if the current car is unlocked using is unlocked in that case we need to disable the uh, buy button using uh, buy button dot game object dot set active false otherwise so if the car is actually locked then we need to enable the button using this same line of code and for this time we are going to set it to true and also we are going to check if we have enough uh, money or enough coins then we are going to set interactable to true otherwise we are going to uh, disable or uh, make it an interactable the button of course so let's check if c dot price we can access the price attribute if it's less than the amount of money or the amount of coins that i have using player prefs i've actually used the player prefs to store the number of coins the key is called number of coins so if you want to learn about adding coins to your game you can check out the video under this uh, video description the default value is zero so if we didn't have enough money then we are going to disable the button using buy button dot interactable equals false otherwise else I'm gonna change interactable to true so that we can buy the uh, car let's paste that and change this to true and finally I want to change the uh, text of the buy button so if we enable this button we need to change the text using buy button dot get component in children because the text is under the button object that's why I've used that and the component is a text mesh pro so I need to implement the uh, text mesh pro namespace using text mesh pro and under here we can access the text mesh pro component the type is text mesh pro ugui dot text and we will change it to uh, by dash then we are going to concatenate the uh, price of the current car using c dot price you see that this uh, blueprint or car blueprint class make things easier for us and we need to call this one I'm going to call it in the update method so I have made a mistake so if the number of coins is greater than the uh, current price we need to set interactable to true otherwise we need to disable the button using uh, interactable equals false let's save this again then let's go ahead and drag in the buy button under here I'm gonna drag it in here and let's hit play and yeah we didn't have enough money that's why the button is uh, not working and if we go to the first one we didn't have the button because this uh, default car is free and if we go to this one we have the button is enabled we can buy this car for now we didn't add a functionality to it it's actually loading the scene that's because I've duplicated this start button so let's go ahead and add the buy function before that I'm gonna uh, remove this function which is a load level and let's go ahead and add this uh, buy function or unlock car I'm gonna create it down here using public void unlock car and to unlock the car first we need to access it I'm gonna use this same line of code to get the current selected car and its uh, properties and in order to buy the car we are going to change the boolean uh, which is uh, is unlocked using the player prefs so let's go down here and we'll use set int so that when whenever we uh, play the uh, main menu we need to get that value so I'm gonna change it using C dot name and we will change it to true the same thing we need to change the selected car as well using player prefs 
dot set int selected car and we'll use the current car index of course make sure it's the same name over here and finally maybe we need to change the uh, boolean under this uh, array using c dot is unlocked equals true and finally we need to subtract the price from the number of coins using player prefs dot set int we will change the number of coins it's very simple we are going to set the previous one using player prefs dot get int and it's the same key which is number of coins and we need to uh, subtract from that the price of the car c dot price so whenever we change the next car over here before we set the selected car we need to check if it's locked in that case we need to return so we won't change the selected car i'm gonna add that down here and the same thing we need to get that uh, car blueprint and let's check if c dot is unlocked we need to check if it's actually not unlocked that means it's locked in that case we need to return so we won't change the selected car index that is stored the same thing we need to add that to the uh, other function which is change previous make sure to add that over here after you change the current car index so let's save that and I think that's pretty much it so let's save it I know it's a little bit uh, difficult but that's how it works so let's select this by button and drag in the uh, shop manager script and under here we need to select unlock car and now it's gonna work so if I buy this one and hit play you see it's actually selected and we can play with this but if we select this one it's going to select the last one that is available which is the yellow uh, car so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos and I will see you in the next one